Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions here on the Balance Channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? Hope you've been doing very well. Um, on today's video, we are going to show you something very interesting and very short as well. Yeah, very short. We try our best to make it very short. You know, uh, moving your survey data from Excel to um, AutoCAD is very, very simple. And it has different ways of doing that. You know, on the channel, we've showed you how to move it as a... Um, Spot height, you know, maybe displaying the height and um, when you plot them and rest of that. So we also felt we should also show you or we felt we should also show you that how to move it and then you can have your eastern northern and height displayed when you ID a particular point. You know, most times on 2007 AutoCAD, when you import your point or when you bring in your survey data, you find it difficult to see your Z value because it is believed that okay we don't really work with z values or mostly we don't mostly work with z values on an auto capital and several version maybe higher version maybe civil 3d or maybe land development or whatever the case is so on this video we are going to show you how you are going to import the survey data in form of eastern northern height and you can still id a point and you still see the heights of that point are we together good so let's show you how you do that so we have just four points here and then we got the four points for the purpose of this video. It's actually the perimeter around um, um, a project that um, we are supervising. So the first thing we are going to do is that we are going to use the concatenate um, command. But instead of um, how would I say, instead of typing it manually, we are going to use it from directly from the formula from the formula bar as it is on the software. I mean on Excel. So you come to formula, you go to text, and then you select the word. You select the command um, concatenate good now what it does is that it joins several text strings into one text string that is just what it does so this um how does it is where you impute your data so how does it work the first thing is that text one what do we want to use as our text one remember we plot our points as what eastern northern and then now we want to get height so it will be what eastern northern and height so it's not only limited to this particular kind of survey data. If maybe you're trying to design any survey program or whatever the case is, of which we are trying to get one and then we'll give it out to you. And you get it by supporting the channel. So maybe just wash out, you'll see it very soon. So um, we, um, by the time you understand how this um, function or this function works, yeah, by the time you understand how this function works, you won't only really apply it to this particular task we want to show you. You can apply it to different, let's say, several other um, Excel formula that you want to design by yourself. So the first thing now is that we are going to select text one, which is what our easting. So we come to the next column and then we put comma because normally that's how we separate our, how do I call it, our identity. Good. So easting comma, we pick the next one, which is what nothing. Sorry, not on that particular column, on the next column, which is what? Northern. Then we come to the next column and we put in what? We put in our comma. We come to the column behind it, then under it, or let's say below it rather. Then we put in what? We put in our height. Are we together? Good. Now, these are the four, or let's say, is it four or five? Yeah, these are the five texts we want to join together. Remember that they say join several text strings into one text string. Are we together? So now they have shown us the formula result. We have our formula result as what? Eastern, comma, northern, comma, height. Are we together? Good. So virtually joined several text strings into one single text string. So we say what? We say okay. How do we now multiply it or how do we duplicate it or how do we get it for the other cells? Just come down here and then you do what? drag down so you now have the eastern northern and height of the other points as well the next thing you do is what you copy it control c you copy it and then you come to what your autocad as i told you earlier we are using the word the 2007 version which is what we want to use let me not say what we use often so which what we want to use. so you come and then you pick what you pick the point to then specify a point you come down here and then you what you paste it you paste it you paste the points you've copied so you maybe you didn't see it on the screen display so you zoom extends so you z enter e enter you find out that the points are actually on the screen 
however if the points are not displayed maybe the legibility is too small you can increase it you come to format come to point style are we together then you choose a different point style instead of that first one let's say we choose this and then let's say set um, size in absolute unit let's say we make this um let's say we make it 10. say what say okay now they are legible enough good um sorry we did not check our unit actually that's the first thing we are supposed to do let's say yeah normally we say three decimal place okay meter not okay still fair good are we together so you can now see that the points have actually been plotted so the, the matter the number of points you have by the time you join the text string the way we've shown it to you you copy them and then you paste it here you can now join it or you can still use any of the other methods we've actually described to you on the channel previously so the next thing we want to show you is that okay we say you can id any of the points and then you would also see what you would also see the height so how do you go about that use the shortcut id right good specify first point so let's say we are specifying this point you can now see what the eastern northern and height being displayed on your screen you know conventionally or if you like to conventionally or let's say normally by the time you import your points you won't see the z value and most times you would not even want to import a z value here because you would say it has limited function or maybe you don't really want to use it however if you love to import your xyz here with this particular command of this particular function of what what we just shown you now you can actually what display your z value on your screen and then you know okay on this particular point this is the elevation or this is the height and then on the other point that's the elevation or that's the height so i believe this particular video has provided solution to that um, solving problem you might have or you already have so thanks for coming to class um, if you have any any tax any job or maybe any challenge you can always reach out to us we are available to help you we are available to guide you we are available to put you through on how you can go about to solve your activities and please don't forget to support the channel because your support has a way of you know making us you know stronger and then keep providing solutions to you so yeah thanks for coming to class we'll see you again on the next video until then make sure you keep being a good surveyor make sure you keep being good surveyors yeah good geomatic engineers good gis experts good civil engineers you know as the case may be we'll see you on the next video take care bye